air it, air it, air it, freestyle fresh. Let's see, Batman got a new beat out called Cold Feet. I ain't heard this one yet. I gotta warm it up, because we got some, uh, I got a freestyle with Jetty Kiss, hold up. Wow, it's 111 views. Cold Feet, is it number two? Uh, Batman. Batman with a V Batman will take you across the city It's like a helicopter view That's a vehicle that shouldn't fly but probably do I don't need a license but I do need a crew And I need some fuel Something to let me just do what it do Gotta go places I ain't never seen before God damn I got trees galore You would think it's a forest But a chorus They can't ignore us Regardless if you're solid or porous Semi-permeable membranes, this shit is insane. What's clear? The ionosphere? Who let A to zinc up in here? This is century centrum. It's kinda like a spectrum. I came to collect them. Wreck shot in the same time. Same sentence, but different paradigm. Age of Aquarius. I'm a Pisces. Uh, ain't no hyphen. I probably can't write for shit. So I just write for myself and shit. Uh, it's priceless. Don't treat yourself like you're worthless. Treat yourself like you're worth listening to. Uh, sometimes I spit a codable, but it's not till another pointed out. It's so poetical, lyric, lyrical. Uh, like the Vanguard, like the Laureate. Like the Laredo, like the Rav4. Feel like I've been here before. It's different than deja vu. Uptown, baby. Uh, if Peter got the guns, then I ain't got the ammo. Or at least the press, fool. I'm not pressed for tools, but a tool will press a few. If you a hammer, everything looks like a nail. The blind man even caught that one for real. See what I did there? They sequence the DNA differently depending on the type of tan you got. Uh, yeah. I'll be in the center of the sun, just like the dark skinned folks be in the middle of the field. I really do feel I'm light enough to make it inside, but then they kick me out just in time. But the hottest part of the animal I guess I'm glad that I did it But I'm not mad I didn't How you figure I didn't Again, I guesstimate I still get the best rate Even though I ain't applied for shit The way I analyze is Two to the sky Peace, A-Town down I'll be around Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah or I won't be. Either way, they're gonna notice. He, he, man. She, she, bruh. It's a heat, heat, bruh. Uh. Happy Friday. Face your fears. Do something nice for yourself. So, uh, what? Memorial Day weekend? Try to remember what happened last year and don't do it again. <laughs> I know that might be too much to ask. Do it for yourself. Do it for a friend. You dig? It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. What it is. What it is. Man, that was a nice warm up, man. Shout out to Batman. Shout out to everybody that's making it happen. Some of my mind. Some of my mind. I'm talking to you men, I'm talking to you dads. You ever get that feeling that you letting folks down? You ever feel that way? What do you do with that feeling? What you do with it? Do you let it rest on your chest? Hmm, like a vest? Do you let it into your heart? Do you let it do you let it rest on your mind? What you do with it? 
maybe it's like you're a star player, right? You're your own star player. Shout out to Cat Williams. That means you're the player, you're the team, you're the coach on the field. You're even the opposition. It's all you, Pippin. It's all you. So, with the end in mind, thinking about the game that's behind you, you at the you at the podium. It's press conference time. Tell me about how you did in the fourth quarter. They was uh, expecting you to do this, but you did that. Talk about it. In my opinion. The only correct response is similar to the mad rapper. First of all, first of all, first of all, who the fuck is you asking me questions? I got John Blaze. I got John Blaze shit. Niggas ain't recognize him. It's the only correct response. Because who the fuck is anybody to be asking you questions? Huh? I tell my kids, you listen. When daddy tells you to do something, you listen. If you don't hear, excuse me, once you hear, don't matter if you understand. You act. You follow instructions. You fall in line. And then, And only then, once you have obeyed, then you can ask questions. You have been given permission in advance to ask questions to further your understanding. Again, once you have obeyed. That's how that game is played. This parenting shit is easy, bruh. It's not easy. Pardon me. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's simple. It's simple. Once you take a moment to slow down and see what you got yourself into. I was talking to a friend recently who's also a parent. Shout out to you. Shout out to all the parents. Whether or not you think you're doing a good job, shout out to you. You don't really know if you're doing a good job. That's the fucked up part. Me, I'm a fiend for feedback. Tell me how I'm doing. Tell me how you think I'm doing. And then I'll do what I want with that feedback, depending on your credibility. Critical feedback depends on the credibility of the person giving it. You dig? Anyway, per evolutionary biology, shout out Dark Horse. Per evolutionary biology, it would appear per per scripture, depending on your interpretation, it would appear. Per my observation, all these things are consistent. It would appear the ideal time to procreate is when you're young and dumb and it happens accidentally. Why do I say that? I don't know. I thought I had a really concise answer for you, but I don't. But if you add up all the factors, oh, shout out to Nate Bargazzi, the comedian. Very funny. He's like a, a little, a little dumber and a little bit less good looking Theo Vaughn, if that name rings a bell. Ring a bell. L L E. These two dudes highly recommend all of their specials. Very funny very insightful very 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 poignant observations about life as an individual whose brain tends to veer toward complexity I value simplicity so much At some point on my journey, it was pointed out to me by a wiser human that the intellect is something to be overcome. I'm going to add tamed. It's got to work for you. You can't work for it. 
Curiosity killed the cat. Indeed. Indeed. Good thing it had extra lives. Right? Too smart for your own damn good. <laughs> Should I answer this? Nah, let's finish the thought. Let's finish the thought. We could always get back to that. We did. So the simplicity that's going on in your mind when you're, say, I'm going to say, and this, this depends on the, on the individual, right? Anywhere between 16 years of age and 26 years of age. Just random. Random, right? Not taking any laws or whatever into account. Just talking about evolutionary biology, right? The first quarter of one's life, okay? You're in your, you, you pass adolescence or you're in adolescence, whatever. You're in your prime reproductive years. I don't know what those are. I don't know what those are. I'm just speculating, estimating. All right? We all know what a shotgun wedding is, right? You accidentally get someone pregnant. Dad comes with a shotgun. You're going to marry my daughter, ain't you? Ain't you? Ain't you? Well, yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. Right? Don't matter if you like, love, care. You're going to do right by, by my baby girl and, 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 and her baby. Well, I'm praying it's not a girl. <laughs> right? This way... You got energy. You're young. You're going to make mistakes regardless. You're not going to... The, the minor mistakes that us older parents is conscious of and beat ourselves up of, young parents ain't even going right... Ain't, you know? Your brain's going to filter that out because it's supposed to. You feel me? Think back to your high school graduation. All right? Every class, you got a spectrum, right? So some people are going to have very young parents. They're like, ooh, look at so-and-so mama. They fine. Right? Because their parents probably only 18 years older than them. You know what I'm saying? You graduated at 18. Your parents is 36. That makes sense. Evolutionarily speaking. Okay? And then think about the, the classmate whose parents look like they somebody's grandparents. All gray and slow and shit, right? Could be they got a lot of kids, and that's the youngest. It is what it is. Could be they waited and, and focused on their career and their finances first, and then thought now is a sensible time to have children. How's that working out? I don't know. I don't have enough data. But you would think, right, ladies is born with all the eggs they're going to have, right? What's the expiration date on those eggs? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, for, for gentlemen, the sperms is always new and, and regenerating, right? The factory that makes the sperm, I'm guessing, you want to catch them when, it's, when the factory's, you know, it's, it's new. You know what I'm saying? The fresher, the better. I don't know. It just makes sense, don't it? Even though it's rather counterintuitive to the American dream and the economic incentives that we have set up. It seems counter to that. But it makes sense. So, parents, I'm cautioning you as... Let me tell you something. This is some real shit. None of us, none of us that have children that are in grade school, primary school, Right? Birth through fifth grade. Any of us parents, we have no clue what we need to be arming our children with to properly prepare them for the world that we are going to be leaving them in. We have no clue. We think we do, but we don't. Think about the progression, the exponential progression of not just technology. Stop focusing on just technology. AI, self-driving. No. Think about the human beings. Think about the de-evolution of human beings as loosely correlated with the evolution of machines. Think about that. Okay? 
I'm gonna have to cut this off because I got shit to do. But just think about that. As we joke about the zombie apocalypse, as we joke about the pandemic being over, new normal, all this shit. All right? Think about the mass psychosis. Make sure you're not part of that mass psychosis. If you can't identify it, that means you're in it. Okay? Zombie apocalypse started a while ago. You might not have noticed. Okay? In some respects, my AirPods have turned me into an Android. Okay? I am so dependent on this wearable technology, I can't even tell you. It's changed my life. I can be on the phone on a work call while I'm holding my children. Does that make sense? No, it does not. But I made it make sense. Trip out on that. Love you guys. Make sure you love yourself. Forgive yourself. That's where you start. Forgive yourself. That's where you start. Forgive yourself. That's where you start. All right? Face your fears. It's Friday. God damn it. Love. I remember. Give your body, give your mind, give your spirit, give your family, give your community the things it needs to fight the dis-ease. Love.